Hello, in this video, we're going to evaluate limits, and this one we're going to do method three. Now, you could probably say most of the methods we're doing is really simplifying, um, but when I say limits by simplifying, I mean there's, there's nothing else you can do except for maybe FOIL or something like that. It's going to be a very quick video, so let's go ahead and jump into our first example. So we have the limit as x approaches zero of negative seven plus x squared minus 49 all over x. Now why is this bad? Well, if we were to do the direct substitution and we plugged in zero, we're gonna get negative seven plus zero squared, that's a 49 by the way, minus 49, well that's gonna give a zero on top, and look, we also get zero on the bottom. So we get zero over zero and that's again bad. So we need some sort of method and that's gonna be this one. So what do we do? We can't, there's nothing I can factor really. Um, I need to get rid of this x on the bottom because that's what's causing me a problem, right? If I plug in zero onto the denominator, I'm gonna get zero and that's bad. So I need to somehow get an x out of the top so I can divide it out with the x on the bottom. Uh, again, nothing to factor here. I can FOIL, so why don't we try that? And that's what I mean by simplifying. I mean just trying to do some stuff to the top and bottom so that things simplify and cancel nicely. So negative seven plus x squared, that's gonna give me 49 minus 14x plus x squared minus 49 all over x. Now you know you're on the right track when, because notice that I need to cancel this x. So that means everything on the top has to have an x in there so that I can factor it out and cancel it with this one. All right, the 49s don't have x's, but they do cancel. So all I ha have on top is negative 14x plus x squared and x on the bottom. Well, it's great because now I can go into method two, which is just to factor. So I'm gonna factor out an x. That's gonna leave me negative 14 plus x all over x, and now these cancel. So what's left after I cancel the x's is just negative 14 plus x. And since zero is in the domain of negative 14 plus x, I can then just plug in zero, and I get negative 14. All right, I have an example for you to try. Uh, give it a shot and find the solution to this problem and more information about NIU, please visit the link down below. Good luck.